Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Gagandeep Singh, and I'm a solution architect for security. So today I'll be presenting how you can bring your own key to KMS for less than fifteen dollar a year using AWS Cloud HSM. So due to some compliance perspective, sometimes we need to deploy a key right from our own hardware and into the KMS, and we have to utilize it. So we are going to talk about same. And here in this service, I'll be demonstrating how we can achieve it in just fifteen dollar per year. So this is the architecture. Before I proceed with the demo, so here we will be having a AWS KMS service. We'll utilize the KMS service to generate the key. So the key will be generated as external without key material. And then, along with the key, we'll download the public key and import token from the KMS so that we can encrypt our key material with that key token. We will be ingesting that key material, public key and import token into Cloud HSM. Then we will be generating a symmetric key into the Cloud HSM and will encrypt that symmetric key utilizing that public key and import token. And then further, we will be importing this service into KMS. So that key will be imported into KMS, and further, we'll be using AWS KMS service to use that particular key material to do the encryption. Now, <clears throat> so total overall, this is a six-step process. We'll be demonstrating all these six steps to you, and the last step, we'll be deleting HSM to save the cost. So if you look at the costing part here, KMS will charge you approximately one dollar per month per key. So twelve dollars will be there for the KMS key, and approximately two dollar costing will be there for Cloud HSM for an hour. So because we'll be just creating this Cloud HSM, importing the key, generating the key material, and after that we will be deleting this Cloud HSM. So once we delete it, our cost will be saved. So let's see how it will be done. So as I mentioned, there are total six steps here. So step one will create the key KMS key with no key material associated. Then we'll download the public key import token. Then we import the importing wrapping key provided with the KMS right into our HSM. We'll import it here. Then we create a symmetric key into the HSM. We'll use that imported key. Imported uh, import wrapping key to wrap the symmetry key, and finally we'll utilize this symmetry key into the KMS. We'll import it back into KMS. So that's how it'll be. I'll be demonstrating you all this process here. So, but before I demonstrate and uh, talk about it, so let me just give you a glimpse what I have done the setup earlier, right? Uh, before I demonstrated it. So. For creating such kind of scenarios, we need one EC2 instance where we will have AWS CLI pre-installed, Cloud HSM SDK CLIs pre-installed, the agent CLI that has to be there. The configuration for Cloud HSM CLI, like creating a user, that has to be there. You should be able to create a user into Cloud HSM agent, and we'll be utilizing that user to import the key and generate the keys. And definitely, AWS CLI credential has to be there, which will, which should have access to KMS and HSM. So that is from this particular server type. Any Linux server will work here. I have used Amazon Linux. Apart from it, this is KMS console. So under the KMS console, you will be able to see your key here under Customer Managed Key. You will be able to see your keys here. Right now, I have two keys. Both are in deletion phase, but you will have another key here. Once we'll be generating a key. Then I have a cloud HSM, right? So created a cluster within that cluster. If you see that cluster is inactive, and I have created one single node cluster here. You can create as per your requirement two node cluster too. So. <laughs> Under this cluster, if you look at this, is my HSM environment, and we'll be taking backup because HSM when it is created before deletion, the backup will happen, and that backup will have your key, right, stored all the keys, the data that will be stored in encrypted format in the backup. So we'll be utilizing this backup to restore our cluster whenever we need. So I'll. Start with the demonstration now. As I mentioned, 
will be using this architecture and as per this architecture these six step process will follow to import the key into kms service there is a blog also on this you can follow this blog too at a later stage if you want to follow step by step and you want to take it up in detail you can follow this particular blogs as well so let me demonstrate now so i'll log in into this box i already have logged in into this server demo server here we'll be following these steps to create the kms key so the first step as we discussed aws kms create key and origin external we have to specifically mention that origin is external we'll take that particular key here generate this key kms create key origin external and our key get created you can see it here that this is your key id right and origin is external key state is a pending import so currently there is no key material it is pending to import so we have this key id here so we should not down this key id we'll take up this key id will not it down here and now we have to get the import parameter for this key id like i have already had one key id i'll utilize this key id now to utilize so i'll brief this command as well so aws kms get parameters for import so we are getting the parameters the token right and public key for this key id specifically and the wrapping algorithm will be rsa sha256 so rsa2048 key specification under region us east one so we are downloading this import token so basically it will provide us that import token for key generation and the public key for the same so we get this import token and public key now we have to utilize these commands to put it under under b64 file import token b64 will put it here so first we have to say echo pick up this token and now we have to put it under any specific file name it's not necessary that it has to be import token but just to be sure that i'm making all step correct so have finalized these file names here with me so import token dot b64 so that is already base64 encoded so i have used it here similar way i'll put this content for the, my public key copy it from here and ingest it into public key dot b64 file and so if you if i observe it i have two file import token and public key dot b64 now because the output of the command is base64 encoded we must base64 decode both component into binary data before we use it so we have to take up these files and create the binary formatting for the same for both these files here done now if you observe it carefully i have two additional file import token dot b60 uh, import token dot bin and public key dot bin now we have to create another file here that is with the public key name so we'll open this public key dot base64 i'll use nano editor you can utilize any editor as per your system what system you are working with so if you observe i have this particular key here so we need to add this begin public key and end public key that content before and after you have to be very careful you should not be deleting any 
content out of it and while saving i'll give it a name dot pem done now i need to log in into this cloud hsm cli i have already configured as i mentioned the cli i have configured my interface of cloud hsm here and i have also created a user gagan into it that i'll be using login into this environment so the role must be of type crypto user so here you can see i successfully logged in into my cloud hsm environment so step 1 we generated a key step 2 we downloaded the public key and import token here and we converted it into a required format now step 3 that we are importing this key into cloud hsm key import pam the path is dot public key dot pam label wrapping key so we are giving it a label here that label will be wrapping key key type class rsa public attribute wrap is equal to true right sometime you have to be very careful when you are editing public key dot pam so even one space will create a problem right so you have to be very careful with this otherwise the key will not get imported let me show you once again so here you are adding this begin public key exactly this much and same in the next line in the last line you have to add it so once you do it perform this your import will happen key import pem path you are providing the path here label wrapping key key type class rsa public and the wrap is equal to true that's something you are providing it here so if you observe it this wrapping key is imported into the system so successfully imported the key so that got successfully imported now the step 4 we need to create a symmetric key on cloud hsm again this will be in hsm so i will log in into this environment once more so we are inside cloud hsm agent now Here now i'll be generating a symmetric aes type key we generate symmetric aes key length that is 32 and a label here we are providing byok kms3 so that is the label that i'll be providing to this key so we are generating a key with this label key got generated now we have to utilize this imported key that we imported earlier so first we will be using this key byok kms3 and will utilize it with the wrapping key that was there that we have used wrapping key 3 so key wrap rsa oia and payload filter we are finding out the attribute label byok kms3 so that is the payload wrapping filter we are filtering out our wrapping key 3 and hash function will be sha256 so this is done wrapping key data so this is our wrapping key data here right so reference key data we are able to get now we have to import the wrapped symmetric key into kms using the key import function okay so we have to utilize it here so kms import key material key id so we need to use key id encrypted key material that will be there in file b kms so we provided this path here for binary we'll use that import token 
will use that import token dot bin expiration will set up the expiration that it will be expired by this date so we are setting up the expiry also for this token so key id we have to replace the key id here in this command with the key id that we generated So no output, it means the import has been done successfully. Now let's try it out, test it out here. So we'll take one particular file here, all right? That is test file dot b64. So we'll create one. This is the content here. So we have to provide that base 64 encoded content when we are encrypting. So I'll utilize this key, the key that we have generated. To encrypt our data using that key and further to decrypt our data using that key. AMS encrypt with this key ID plain text that file test file dot b64 region us east one. So we got this cipher text block here, blob here, right? For that particular file. So let's test it out once again. Decrypt our data. We are using decrypt using this key ID and the cipher text blob and we will provide this particular blob here. And I'll export the output to base 64 hyphen D, I'll decode this output. Let's get the data first. So we got this plain text and let's decode it. Here you can see the data that we have encoded, right? And then now we, after decoding, we have this here. And this is the cipher text, right, for this data. So now whatever data we had, we were able to utilize this particular key and the key material in this key is being used that is generated via HSM. Now let's go back to customer managed keys. And I'll show you here. So this key, the one that we are using right now is currently in enabled state, not in pending import state. Now, after this, if you want to delete HSM cluster, you can delete the cluster and can save the cost. That's it, guys. Thank you very much. Take care.